This is the story of a brutal murder that shocked the town of Chiredzi. It is the story of Willard Simango, a 24-year-old man who killed a 60-year-old security guard, Lazawa Salani, in cold blood. It was on a Saturday, the 26th of March, 2016, when Salani reported for duty at Maria Mabasa plastic scrap, an open area that was near Chiredzi Magistrate Court. He took over from Brian Mandekisa, who had worked the previous shift. Salani was the new guard at the scrap camp, replacing Simango, who had been fired by the owner Maria Mabasa. Simango was not happy about losing his job, and he harbored a grudge against Salani. He threatened to kill him as revenge for taking his place. That night, Simango sneaked into the scrap camp and attacked Salani with a sharp object. He chopped off his head and wrapped it in a sack. He then dragged his body to a pile of tires and plastics and set it on fire. He then left the scene, taking the head with him, and drove to a nearby cemetery where he dug a small hole and buried the head. After that, he fled to Hisumbanje, a town near the border with Mozambique. The next morning, Mandikisa came back to relieve Salani, but he could not find him. He noticed blood stains and gravel on the ground and a smoldering heap of scrap nearby. He alerted the owner who told him to report the matter to the police. When the police arrived, they discovered the charred remains of Salani's torso still wrapped in tires and plastics. They also found his blood-stained uniform and some bales of plastic scrap he had guarded. They launched a manhunt for the killer, suspecting Simango as the prime suspect since they had had an altercation earlier. Meanwhile, Simango continued his violent spree in Jisumbanji, where he struck another villager with an axe, leaving him severely wounded. He then tried to escape to Mozambique, but he was intercepted by the police in Mozambique, who had been alerted by the Zimbabwean police. He was arrested and handed over to Zetara Pichirezi, who confirmed his identity and linked him to the murder of Salani. He was taken to court where he faced charges of murder and attempted murder. He confessed to his crimes and pled guilty. The judge sentenced him to life imprisonment with no possibility of parole. He said that Simango had committed a heinous and barbaric act which deserved the harshest punishment. He said that he had showed no remorse or respect for human life and had caused untold pain and suffering to the families of his victims. He said that he hoped his sentence would serve as a deterrent to other would-be criminals and as a consolation to the bereaved. This story is of a senseless and savage killing of a hard-working man and a swift and stern justice. It is a story that will haunt the town of Shirezi for a very long time. Yeah, very good. What about you? 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 What about you?